Welcome to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. Our team is committed to bringing Type 1 diabetics the latest medical developments to manage this disease. We also cover current medical advancements seeking a cure for T1D. If you value this content, please feel free to show your support by clicking on our homepage and hitting the link to buy us a coffee. Your support helps our team to research topics for upcoming videos. We thank you for your support. Hello everybody, welcome back to Type 1 Diabetic Warriors. My name is Jim. Today we're going to talk about GLP-1 receptor agonists. And uh, there are two hospitals that are working together to blend that therapy with something called Harmine, which is a uh, plant-based material. We've got the whole story for you. Hit the like and subscribe button if you would. That helps us to grow our channel and reach more people with valuable content like this. Now let's unpack the story between these two distinct entities and their idea of blending two therapies together. In preclinical studies, a team of researchers from Mount Sinai Health System in New York City and City of Hope in Los Angeles report new findings on a therapeutic combination that regenerated human insulin-producing beta cells, providing a possible new treatment for diabetes. The findings were published recently in Science Translational Medicine. For the study, the natural product Harmine, found in plants, was combined with a widely used class of type 2 diabetes therapy called GLP-1 receptor agonists. So, what is a GLP-1 receptor agonist, you ask? Here's the definition. A glucagon-like peptide 1 receptor antagonist is a medication that lowers insulin secretion and increases plasma glucose levels. Researchers transplanted a small number of human beta cells into mice that had no immune system and that served as a standard model of type 1 and type 2 diabetes. These mice were treated with the combination therapy and their diabetes was rapidly reversed. Strikingly, Human beta cell numbers increased by 700% over three months with this drug combination. This is the first time scientists have developed a drug treatment proven to increase adult human beta cell numbers in vivo. This research brings hope for the use of future regenerative therapies to treat the hundreds of millions of people with diabetes. Potentially, said Dr. Garcia Ocaña, the paper's corresponding author. It has been remarkable to watch this story unfold over the past 15 years, said Dr. Stewart, who along with Peng Wang, PhD, Professor of Medicine, Endocrinology, Diabetes and Bone Disease at Icon Mount Sinai, conceived of and performed the initial high-throughput drug screen that led to the discovery of harmine described in Nature Medicine in 2015. The steady progression from the most basic human beta cell biology through robotic drug screening and now moving to human studies illustrates the essential role for physician scientists in academia and pharma. I want to note the length of time this potential therapy has taken, from infancy to this stage. 15 years. Many viewers of this channel often ask when there will be a cure for type 1 diabetes. This timeline illustrates how long basic research takes to get to the point of animal studies. After all this takes place, human trials begin. Growing new beta cells. According to Sarah A. Stanley, Associate Professor of Medicine, Endocrinology, Diabetes and Bone Disease and Neuroscience at Icon Mount Sinai, using an advanced laser microscopy tool called IDISCO Plus that effectively makes biological tissue transparent, Dr. Hap Stanley saw that beta cell mass was dramatically increased through mechanisms that included enhanced proliferation, function and survival of the human beta cells. The technology allowed for accurate and rigorous quantitative assessment of engrafted human beta cells for the first time. Translating results to the clinic. The Mount Sinai team recently completed a phase one clinical trial of Harmine in healthy volunteers to test its safety and tolerability. At the same time, Robert J. DeVita, PhD, Professor of Pharmacological Sciences and Director of the Marie Jose and Henry R. Kravis Drug Discovery Institute at Mount Sinai, has developed next generation DUERC 1A inhibitors. Mount Sinai is conducting studies to test these in humans for potential toxicity risks and estimate dose for clinical trials, and is planning to initiate first in human trials with independent research teams next year. Researchers also want to address the fact that in patients with type 1 diabetes, the immune system will continue to kill new beta cells. 
So, they plan to test inducers of beta cell regeneration together with immunomodulators that regulate the immune system. Their goal is for the combination to allow new beta cells to thrive and improve insulin levels. Our studies pave the way for moving DERK1A inhibitors into human clinical trials, and it's very exciting to be close to seeing this novel treatment used in patients, Dr. Garcia Ocaña said. There is nothing like this available to patients right now. Type 1 diabetic warriors will follow this process and report back on the progress of this study and phase one trial as the process unfolds. So what is your takeaway? I'm pretty impressed with the, uh, the preclinical studies, you know, the 700% uh, improvement in beta cell production and growth. Uh, that's pretty good. And uh, the fact that they're going to be starting human clinical trials here by next year, that's pretty promising. It is interesting that it's not anything that's going to happen, you know, too rapidly. It took 15 years to get to this point where they are right now. But you know what? Every journey begins with the first step. Um, probably another important takeaway for me anyway is that uh, these are two very big organizations involved. Some of the stories we bring you are, you know, really micro startups that might have a good idea and, uh, you know, but they're, they're really small organizations. However, Mount Sinai and City of Hope have been working on diabetes uh, related uh, trials for years and years, decades really. So that's very encouraging that the, the two of them are putting these two um, ideas together, these two therapies, and we're hoping for a positive outcome. As always, we will keep a look at this and, and follow it and look for positive results. Uh, we'll probably see something by the end of next year. But uh, it's good to know that this is just one more thing in the pipeline, the total pipeline uh, of many different potential cures for type 1 diabetes. We have another big uh, interesting video for you here coming up. We have some uh, more interesting news from Cernova about the cell pouch that is being worked on right now. We'll have that for you in just a couple of days. In the meantime, take care of yourselves as always. Be well. Control those blood sugars as best as you can. And uh, we will hope for the best. Thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll talk to you again real soon.